guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I feel like a villain right now with this purple lighting. I got some um, new lights at Five Below, so I can like change the colors and stuff. Okay, so I guess we are going to be doing some, um, let's see, like a simple look. Um, I really want to do something colorful, but at the same time, we're gonna do like a beginner's type of tutorial. So how to do like a cut crease. So we're gonna do a beginner's tutorial on how to do a half cut crease. I feel like purple is a flattering color on everyone, so I'm in love with those lights. I'm really, really in love with them. I got them for my bookshelf, but I don't know. I feel like I need some more. Okay, so now that my eyebrow's on and I look a little bit more me, I don't like this brow. There's just something about this eyebrow I do not like, and I don't know what it is. It will not cooperate and I'm not here for it. And it's like, it's kind of dark in here and I can't see. I don't know, my eyebrows are doing something right now. They're not cooperating. It's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and pat that in. I think I put too much on my eyeball, but it's fine. First, you'll want to put down some concealer or um, eyeshadow primer. So in this case, I used a concealer. Wait for that to just dry down. So I'm going to be using two different palettes, and it would be the Sailor Moon Pretty Guardian palette with ColourPop and the ColourPop Ooh La La palette. And we're going to be using the purples out of these. First, I'm going to take this fluffy eye blender brush from e.l.f. Dip into the shade Caddy from the Ooh La La palette and pack it on and then blend it out at the same time. And you want to take that across the crease but build it up slowly and be sure to blend it out so that way the next color is um, easier to blend. And make sure you get this inner corner as well. Blend it out and once that first color is down it should look something like this. Okay, and my neighbors are loud. So we're gonna take Miracle Romance from the Sailor Moon palette and put this right above the first shade. It'll help blend it out a little bit more. Ready? And I went above my crease, so I think my natural crease is about right here. And I went above it so that way you could see all the um, blending that I did. If I do it right where my crease is, like this, then you can't see the work. So if I just keep it right there, right where my crease is, and this is how I would have done my makeup maybe four or five years ago. You can barely see what's going on. Versus this, you can see everything that's going on and it's all nice and blown out and pretty. And I know it can be scary and look kind of weird at first, but you really, really do want to make sure that you get this inner corner blended and the rest of this, it's the outer edges blended as well, because if you don't, it'll look not like you want it to. So there's no rules to make up, but if you're trying to go for a certain look, it's best to just have everything blended out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease and we're gonna do a half cut crease because I don't, I don't know, I just don't feel like doing a full one. Um, so I have the difference between a half cut crease and a full cut crease. So full cut crease, you start in your inner corner and then you cut it all the way over here. So just make a line from here to back here. And then with a half cut crease, you start in the same inner corner and then you go about halfway to your eye. So you go about right there or over here. So we're gonna do a half cut crease today and I'm gonna do two different methods. So the first one I'm going to, do the one where they uh, put it on their, the close to their lash line and always mess this one up, which is why I never do it. And then on this side, I'll just show you how I do it. So first method, so have a little bit of concealer on your eye and then look up and around and then it'll show you where you're supposed to mark it. So that mark right there is where I'm supposed to mark it. Let me go ahead and finish this. So it looks like that. And again, my crease is right here. And I do have hooded eyelids. So my crease is right here. And I did a little bit above my crease just so you could see exactly what is going on in my eyelid. A few years ago, I did not have these techniques, but now that I have them, I am extremely grateful because my makeup turns out a lot better than it was. Yeah, I think I'll insert a picture just to show y'all how bad it was back then. So that side has been done and let me show you how I do mine. So it's essentially the same thing. I just don't do the method where you look up. Oh, 
Okay, I'm open my eyes a little bit because they are like it's not okay. It's the shape of the concealer and in the shape of my eyes because this they're wonky. My eyes are wonky. You can see I have like it, it's more like closed off on this side, whereas on this side it's more open. Um, let me just go ahead and correct these. So this one, this is how I usually do it, and I prefer to have more space so that way I can put more eyeshadow on there. Um, and this one. I don't like it, so I'm gonna fix it. So that's about as even as these are gonna get. What we are going to do after we do that is take the shade Caddy again from the Ooh La La palette and make sure it is blended in so there's no visible line. Which shade is this? Miracle Romance shade, do the same thing. There's no mirror on this palette. So Miracle Romance from the Sailor Moon palette. I'm using the mirror from the Ooh La La palette because there's no mirror in the Sailor Moon palette. So now I want to take the shade Luna from the Sailor Moon palette and go over my lids with that. And so it's like this um, really pretty lavender shade with like a blue, is it blue? Yeah, it's, there's like a hint of blue in there, reflect. So ColourPop shadows, I sometimes work better if you use your finger. So I'll do most of it with my finger and then like the inner parts, I'll go in with a brush. So whatever parts my fat finger can't reach, I'm doing with a brush now. I love Sailor Moon. So once you get that lid shade on, it should look like this. And so far, I actually only used three colors. So that looks pretty dang good for three colors. Then you can always go back in and blend that lid shade with the transition shade just to make sure everything is seamless. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna keep it normal. So I'm gonna take my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner and I'm gonna go ahead and do a wing. Okay, and how I do my wings is I start where the bottom lash is, so the bottom lash line. You wanna take it and then go up towards your eyebrow. And then anything that's like kind of out there can be cleaned up later. I don't have the steadiest hands, which sucks. That's fine. And so then you'll want to take it from the um, end of the wing and then drag it down. Make a triangle and then fill in that triangle. Okay, so it's gonna look kind of weird right now, but I am going to clean it up in just a second. So it should look like that for now before we clean it up. And I prefer to do my um, wing before I put on my foundation and concealer and everything else just so it's easier to clean up. Clean that up. And so you're gonna clean it up the same way that you applied the liner. So instead of going like that, you go up and out. So like that. And so since my eyebrows are hooded, I kind of have to keep my eyes, my eyebrows up like that so that way it doesn't look like crap. I done goofed. So just let that dry. And I don't want it to transfer to the top of my lid. I hate that so much because if I open my eyes too soon, it'll transfer and it makes me cry. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and my base and I'll be right back. Went ahead and I got the rest, uh, got my base on, and I did put on some fake freckles with the um, NYX Epic Wear or no Epic Ink Brown Eyeliner. So I just did that in some dots and then patted it all over my face. Patted, pat, patted. English is hard. And then in my waterline, I think I'm gonna just leave it, um, leave my lower lash line bare because sometimes I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger. Um, but I did the uh, ColourPop Honey Dude Cream Gel Liner. Sorry if that like, looks really creepy. Now I'm gonna add some mascara and some lashes. Okay, and this, I don't like this, but this is what I have until the next Ulta event comes around. So it's the Bath Gal Bang from Benefit Cosmetics. I don't like this. I really do not like this. So I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line first. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit, but not too dry. And go back. It does lengthen, I just don't like the formula. I don't know if you can see that. It's like no mascara versus mascara on the lower lash line and upper lash line, I'm not too worried about. Okay, when something dumb like this happens, you just wanna wait for it to dry and then like scratch it off, it'll flake right off. So these are the Norvina lashes in the style Dreamy. I got these at Sephora for like six bucks. They're regular $12. I got them for six. See, now you can just scratch it off. Oh, I thought that would work and it did not. And just cover the rest of it with foundation. Wow, it's like it never happened. Okay, and so when I put on my lashes, I like to turn my mirror sideways and then look down and take either tweezers or lash applicator. I wanted to give the lash applicator another try and try and center it. Or just line, it, line everything up. Lash applicator is not it. I can't do this. So I'll just take my tweezers and do the rest of the work. So I'll pull this inner corner in and make sure it's like right above your lash line and not on it. So I know sometimes I do put it on the lash line, which is a no-no. It gets stuck to your eyelashes and when, you, when it's time to take them out, it like pulls out your lashes. Okay, and then press everything together. Oh, I like these, they're cute. I had another pair that I gave my sister because they were like short and she likes short lashes because she doesn't wear makeup for some reason. She doesn't need it, but I mean, as much makeup as I buy in a year, you should definitely be taking advantage of that. And now that those are both on, I'm gonna go ahead and do some inner corner highlight and I'm taking the shade Tickle from the Ooh La La palette and just go in the inner corner. Okay, so that inner corner highlight is done, and you see how much bigger my eyes look. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the NYX Suede Lip Liner in the shade Cold Brew, and this NYX Lingerie Push-Up Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade Seduction, and line my lips first, and then go in with the color. And then I did overline my lips a little bit on the sides, because the way my face is shaped, it's gonna go up there anyways. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of lace detail and put that in the center. Ready, and so this would be it for my finished look. I did not put on any highlighter because I feel like it didn't really need it. That and the um, blush and the um, foundation that I used, it, like they're both pretty glowy, so I don't think I needed that extra little bit of highlight. And I really, really like it. I don't know why it's showing me, it's like, there we go. I think that's a, that's a good color, right? I don't know, something about my camera's off. So if I go like really, really orange, it looks weird. If I go blue, it looks weird. So I think right here. Mm. Right there, right? Yeah, right there. That's pretty good. Yeah, this would be my beginner tutorial for a cut crease and included some liner as well and a little bit of lash tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.